A married man has a story or two, maybe three, about his mother-in-law, but only one man can say his ma-in-law killed a 12-foot, almost 600-pound alligator. KDK's Matt Thibodeau, who, by the way, is single and wrote that, took a trip down to Polk County to speak with the proud woman and now has our story. September is a memorable month for Livingston Mayor Judy Cochran. She went on her first ever gator hunting trip and bagged a 12-foot, 580-pound monster. To Cochran, the Mastiff Reptile has been public enemy number one for quite some time. We've been looking for this particular one because about three years ago we came up missing a miniature horse and we highly suspect a gator got it. Alligator hunting in Texas is highly regulated. One of the many rules states the gator must be caught on a hook before it can be shot. A friend baited the hook with some well-seasoned raccoon and waited. I'm at my office doing paperwork about 9.30 or so, and Scott, my son-in-law, called and said, Nana, we've got a gator on, on the hook. It's, he's a big one. It wasn't the first alligator to be killed on the ranch this year, but no one had any idea it was the same one that had evaded them in the past. So that's the first one that we've had one shot, one kill on the dispatch, and she made a perfect clean shot, ethical kill, and uh, really proud of her. When I got finished and I left here, I went home, took a shower, and got dressed and went back to my office. So it was just another day at the ranch. Stephen Moy, the taxidermist working on the gator, also hooked it. He says he was in a boat when it happened and immediately realized he needed a bigger boat. We get some up around 11 foot, but to get to the 12 foot mark is really, really doing something for Polk County. This also wasn't the first time a member of Cochran's family killed a massive alligator. Her grandson, Simon, killed one even bigger when he was only five years old and made quite the name for himself. My grandson's nickname was a gator bait. Uh, when he was only five, so I really don't like that name for myself. Uh, but with her high school reunion coming up, she'll certainly have something to brag about. I have pictures to prove it now, too. Matt Thibodeau, KTK News. I love